and good morning. I'm Janelle Marie. Welcome to Body Beautiful, the show where we talk with local professionals about the latest in cosmetic procedures and medical devices. We're also going to take your phone calls live on the air in the second segment. And just real fast, 415-561-8753 if you want to write it down, down early. And with us today... We have plastic surgeon Dr. Joseph Mealy. We're talking about a bunch of different topics today. We've got breast auger vision, tummy tucks, facelifts, and blepharoplasty. Perfect. <laughs> it was pretty good, you huh? Got it, you got and it. we don't know what that is, but we're going to explain in just a little bit. We'll find out what that is. A little teaser there. And remember, we're going to be taking your calls, answer any questions you might have. The doctor can answer anything. So here's the phone number again: 415-561. 8753. We will also give you the number to the doctor's office, so be ready to take that down as well. And before we get started, any advice we give you today, we want you to consult your own physician. All right, doctor, welcome back. Nice to be here. So good to have you Thank here you. again. Let's talk uh, w about uh, breast aug revision. Okay. All right, so when does someone know that they need a breast aug revision? Well, you know, the most common reason is to change size. Uh, oh, so, you, okay. so it's not that Implant there's a problem size. with the procedure or the operation. It's just they decide to be a little bit bigger usually or a little bit smaller. Okay. Uh, but implants also can fail. They can deflate. Uh, and the scar that holds the implant in place, yeah. sometimes it'll get too tight and move the implant or make the breast feel firm. Right. Or it'll be too loose and the implant will bottom out. So we need to reposition it and get it back where it belongs. All right. So if somebody takes the implant out, can you yes. also get a breast lift? Let's say you took the implant out. Now, you know, maybe the skin's a little more saggy. Sure. Do you get a breast lift with that? And It depends. Oh, okay. Uh, we plastic surgeons define saggy probably differently than most people That's do. That's true. Uh, we, we define saggy based on the position of the nipple. So if the okay. nipple is above oh, the okay. fold, then usually we don't have to do a lift. However, if there's a lot of tissue, breast tissue or skin that hangs below the fold, even though the nipple's high, mm -hmm. we call that pseudotosis, which means fake sagging. And sometimes we will remove some of that lower pole skin in order to lift the breast tissue itself. Now, if somebody, maybe they, there's under the muscle and over the muscle. Yes. Let's say you, you don't get the right one. Will you know it's time to go back in to the doctor and say, hey, something's wrong here? What happens? Yeah, most of the people who come in for revision feel that something's not right. Okay. Uh, and what I spend a lot of time doing is trying to define what the problem is, what's bothering them. Okay. Uh, because as far as size goes, there is no right answer. Right. And I depend on my patient to let me know what's reasonable for them. I like to keep things in proportion. Okay. So I don't like getting too big or too small because okay. then they may not get the result that they want. Uh, but it, I'll have patients try on a broad home the size they want to be, use a Ziploc bag and rice or beans or something just to fill it out. Yeah. And wear their clothes with it and get an idea of what is that like, okay. is that enough, is it too much, and I think it really helps, uh, right, especially so if people are changing them for size. If we can figure out size before, it's we're going to be changing fewer of them. And then how do you uh, do the surgery? So How's the surgery stuff for revision, again, it depends on what we're trying to fix. Okay. So if it's a size change, usually it's a matter of just opening up the previous incision or if we need to make a new incision, make a small incision, remove the previous implant and put the new one in. If we're going larger, I may need to open that scar uh -huh. pocket up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but usually revision surgery is not very painful. And you don't have to move the nipple? On Only revision. if we need to do a lift. Oh, okay. And that's kind of independent of the implant itself. Okay, good. And what about scarring? So scarring, obviously we want to minimize scarring. Uh, most of the time with the newer gel implants, especially the more cohesive ones, they require a little bit bigger scar. Yeah. So a lot of times we're going underneath the breast where we have that fold to hide it in. Uh, with the saline implants, we were putting them in through the areola, or just around the edge of the areola, the pigmented skin around the nipple. Mm -hmm. The reason for that is the saline implants go in empty. So you can oh. make a very small oh. incision, slide them inside with the fill tube, and fill them up on the inside. Oh. The gel implants come pre-filled. Oh, and if okay. you try to put them through too small an area, yeah. you'll stretch out the shell, and you yeah. may make it more likely to leak. So you have to treat them gently. And uh, let's talk recovery time. Let's say somebody had some implants, they're not happy with them, they got them changed. Um, is that a huge recovery time then? Are we doing the same thing? Usually like just a few days. You know, oh, really? The That's first it? time around, especially, you know, we're putting in uh, implants, especially larger implants in smaller chests, we're stretching. Mm. And that stretching is uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's what bothers people the most. When we're replacing implants, we already have a pocket. We already have the okay. muscle dissected. Everything that needs to be done sort of mechanically is done. We may need to tweak it a little bit. But since I'm doing less and we're usually not stretching as much, 
recovery is usually just a few days. And so how would somebody know? Let's say they don't have the right implants in. Mm -hmm. do, you, is it, or do they get firm? I mean, are they hardened? Do they harden? What happens if you... I mean, both saline and the gel implants should feel pretty soft. Overall, saline right. implants tend to feel a little bit more firm. Yeah. And sometimes we'll change from saline to gel in order to soften things up a bit. Okay. But the hardness that we're doing capsulectomies for or, or releasing the capsule at pocket around there, it's usually not because of the implant so much as that scar around the implant has become tight. Yeah. And it's sort of like a new shell on the implant that's making it firm. So it tends to make it more spherical. It tends to project out more. And a lot of times appears smaller because of the pressure on it. And so who is qualified to do breast augment vision? Well, you want someone who does a lot of breast augmentation, yeah. preferably a board-certified plastic surgeon who is a member of the ASPS or the ASAPS, which is a subset of ASPS members that do primarily cosmetic surgery. Right. Uh, and someone who does a lot of revision, because it is a little bit different. Yeah. Uh, and the most important thing, I think, is someone who will listen. Because if I don't know what I'm doing yeah. because I'm not listening, we're not going to end up in the right place. Okay. Uh, so you really want someone you can communicate with, especially if you've been through it before. Yeah. You don't want to go through it a third time. So you want someone you can explain the problem and be able to get the information from them. Do you get a lot of women coming in saying they want to um, downsize? Uh, not as many as upsizing. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, upsizing is still more common. It is? Yeah. Okay. You get, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, for more information about Dr. Mealy, you can call 925-943-6353. Check him out on the web, either drmealy.com or sanfranciscobreast.com. Coming up, lots more. We're going to be talking tummy tucks, and we're going to take your phone calls, 415-561-8753. We'll be right back on Body Beautiful. The information and advice given on this program is for general informational purposes only. For medical advice on specific treatments, medical professionals should be consulted. You should not initiate a course of treatment without consulting a qualified doctor.